This is Ryan Abraham for FSBulldogs.com coming at you from the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas, Nevada for we're here for Mountain West Conference Media Days. We're here with the preseason Mountain West Defender Player of the Year, uh, Duran Smith. What's going on, Duran? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm just happy to be here, you know, blessed to, to have the opportunity to be with all these, all these talented players in one spot. Yeah, it's a, it's a kind of crazy day. You guys have been doing media interviews all day. You're in Las Vegas. Like, you have a lot of fun with this? Yeah, um, this is my first time here at the media day, so uh, it's a great experience um, being here with Derek Carr. You know, he's been here before, so I'm just, I'm just kind of learning, going along with mm -hmm. it, uh, figuring out where we go, who to talk to, all that type of stuff, and uh, being in Vegas is just a plus. <laughs> <laughs> you only get one day here, so you don't get to do a lot, whole lot while you're here. Yeah, uh, but you know, it's still good to just get out, uh, walk the strip a little bit, you know, just, just see all the people because it's, it's, it's a sight out there just to see all the people. Um, you know, not really getting into too much because, you know, we're here for the media days. We're not here to enjoy ourselves and have fun. Uh, so that, that's what we've been doing just, uh, you know, over here, the media days, talking, getting, getting all the interviews in. Yeah, there's a lot of interviews. We just did one with a lot of the print people. Now, Derek seems to do a lot of the, the talking there. Is it the offense talking over the defense? What's going on with that? Uh, you know, it's an offensive world, but uh, nah, Derek, he's, he gets a lot of pub and uh, it's deservingly so, you know, conference uh, offensive player of the year last year, you know, he's up for, for all the all the preseason accolades, uh, the Davey O'Brien, the well, I think one of the Heisman uh, watch lists, so uh, it's, it's deservingly so, and you know, I just sit back, wait my turn. Well, you're on some of those preseason watch lists, too. The, the Lot Trophy, which is an actual trophy for not just what you play on the field, but what you do off the field, yeah. and the Jim Thorpe Award. What did that mean to you to get a, a mention for those awards? Uh, it was great. Um, I, was, I was surprised to be named to those watch lists. You know, I'm honored and uh, I'm happy that that hard work that I did uh, is, is getting noticed. But, you know, I, I want to prove it on the field this year. You know, I, I had a pretty decent year last year, and I, I want to build on that and uh, have an even better year this year and be on those be on those lists at the end of the season. That's when it's more important. You're, you're doing good with these segues. You mentioned the hard work. I wanted to talk about the off-season workouts, the summer workouts. How those been going for you guys? Brutal, but good at the same time. Um, I've never worked this hard in my life, and, and I thought that I was a hard worker before, but uh, the work that Coach Joey Bose and uh, EJ have made us go through is, is preparing us for a special year, and, uh, and that's what we've been talking about all summer is having a special year, and we've been working for it. The, uh, you're, you have a new defensive back coach, and you have a couple guys you're working with, but David Brown's a new guy. You got to see him in the spring. What has it been like working with him? Uh, coach Brown is cool, man. Uh, <laughs> we were a little nervous, you know, losing, losing Coach McDonald, yeah. but uh, Coach Brown came in, and, and he picked up the defense faster than any of us did as players and, uh, you know, teaching it to us. And, you know, we've just been getting more comfortable with him. And, you know, it's, it's like he's been here for a year already, it seems yeah. like, through, through spring and through summer. So um, I, think, I think all the DBs and Coach Brown have a good relationship, and, and we're just going to go from there during the season. He actually has more head coaching experience than your actual head coach, Tim DeRude. I don't know if he ever mentions that to you at all. He doesn't. You know, <laughs> he, he's, he's kind of a, kind of a uh, low-talking, humble guy. But uh, now, now that you mention it, uh, you know, it makes sense how he picked up the playbook that fast and, and is able to teach it and relate to us uh, that, that way. You guys had a great secondary last year. One of the key returning guys that you thought was going to be helping you out, Sean Olsen's not going to be around there. What does that mean to not have him around this year? Uh, it's it's a big blow to us as a as a secondary and as a defense. Sean Austin, he was he's one of the best corners in uh, in the nation to me personally, and um, to lose him, you know, it really hurts. But uh, you know, we just got to move on. You know, we 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 want him to come back eventually, but. We got to move on and, and get the younger guys ready. And uh, that's what I've been telling the young safeties, the young corners. You know, uh, everybody's one play away. You're one play away from, from being done. You're one play away from being out on the field. So you always got to prepare as if you're starting the, this next game. So uh, our young corners, Shannon Edwards, Jamal Ellis, uh, Jonathan Norton, they're, they're getting ready. And, and one of them is going to step up and is going to have to play this year. And uh, you mentioned some of the young guys. You get to see, you, you saw some guys in the, in the spring, but there's also the guys that, you know, that graduated from high school. They're with you for summer workouts, the class of 2013. What have some of those young guys been to you so far? Um, they, they've shown a lot of promise. You know, we haven't, we haven't got any of the corners in yet uh, to, be, to be with us for the summer workouts, but some of the safeties have came in. And um, we've been, me and LJ have taken all the DBs and, you know, brought them together, and we watch film, go over uh, the playbook, watch film on – on, on our offense, you know, like, okay, read, read one, read two, you know, different things like that. So we've been kind of taking them under our wing, just trying to get ready for summer camp, um, trying to get them prepared as best as possible because we want to hit camp running and not waiting for anybody.
All right, well, the last couple of things. We had a couple guys on the message board wanted to ask you a question. So I'll, do, I'll start off with Bulldog Twist. He wants to know, how are you embracing your role after the departure of Philip Thomas, your leadership role with the team? Um, I felt I had a leadership role last year. It was more lead by example. You know, I wasn't too much of a rah-rah, you know, get everybody going type of guy. But now, especially with Philip gone, you know, I've, I've taken it up a notch. Like I said, with me and LJ Jones getting, getting all the DBs together to watch film, to go over the playbook, you know, making sure that they're ready, making sh push, pushing everybody in the weight room because, uh, you know, you got to be physically ready to play this game because it's, it's a lot different than high school ball. You know, a lot of guys don't have in-game experience, so you got to get them ready mentally and physically farther than they've, than they've ever pushed themselves. And that's, that's, that's what I've taken out uh, of a leadership role, getting them ready. All right, and then uh, one last one. This is from Fang Dog. What triggered you to feel confident that this would be the year you guys are going to finally be able to beat Boise State? Um, just the skill set that we have around. You know, our offense is loaded. Our defense is loaded. Um, and with our coaches and the scheme that we have, we just feel like we're ready. You know, there's, there's no other time to do it but, yeah. but now. So we get them at home. We're, we're going into the season confident. Uh, it's, it's that time. All right. Well, thanks very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the media days. Thank you. You have a good day, too. All right. Well, signing off from uh, the Cosmop Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. For Deron Smith, this is Ryan Abraham. Check out fsbulldogs.com for more.